Alright guys, welcome back to the another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about cloud native geotape. But before talking about COG, I want to talk about the traditional approach of uh, imagery analysis. So uh, traditionally, what we need to do is we need to download the full product of GeoTIF image and we need to clip our area of interest and do analysis and save the output raster. So that things I have done in past uh, using USGS uh, imagery. So I used to download the imagery from USGS and then manually clip my area of interest and do the analysis things. But recently with the inter uh, introduction of COG, uh, so I can use the like cloud platforms like the uh, Google Earth Engine to download my area of interest. Actually, what is uh, the cloud optimized geotip? So the cloud optimized geotip is a regular geotip file aimed at being hosted on HTTP file server with an internal organization that enable more efficient workflow on the cloud. It has the capacity to query part of the file as requested so right now we we can define our area of interest and then download the uh, required product is uh, is requested site so if you don't know how to do that using a uh, google earth engine i have video in the link in description below check that out and of course for the cog can visualize larger raster without needing a server so how it visualize is for the greater zoom level uh, it visualize only the visible portion of the raster if the uh, zoom level is small then it visualize uh, the raster in lower resolution it's uh, something called uh, image pyramid so based on the zoom level and then the area of interest so it uh, try to reduce the uh, amount of energy required to visualize that raster so that's how it works and uh, actually there might be some i mean some confusion between tiff versus geotiff versus uh, cloud native geotiff so the tiff is uh, the regular image file it doesn't uh, it does or doesn't uh, has any geo metadata that means locational information but uh, in the geotiff file we have always the locational information it's the kind of tiff file you can see uh, tiff is in our bigger circle inside which we have geotiff file and of course cloud native geotiff are inside geotiff which has both location data as well as it's optimized for the uh, cloud platforms so all look same but uh, they are like subset of uh, tiff Cloud native GeoTIFF is the subset of GeoTIFF. GeoTIFF is the subset of TIFF. All right, so I want to like briefly um, differentiate the cloud optimized GeoTIFF with the regular GeoTIFF in this uh, table. So the uh, cloud optimized GeoTIFF has the capacity to query the part of the file as requested. That means we can query our area of interest, but for the regular geotiff need to download the full data querying partial data is not possible you can think of cloud optimized geotiff are uh, hosted in the like google earth engine and regular geotiff are in the uh, are the like product from usgs and of course a uh, cloud optimized geotiff uh, can visualize large uh, cog without needing a server a as i mentioned before it, it seems like a http server which we can like uh, get or post the required information but for the re regular geotiff we uh, we need like server to visualize the large geotiff file and of course cog are streamable and uh, regular geotiff are not streamable that means uh, for in cog uh, it can be uh, used as uh, like uh, watching a movie on youtube so we can stream but not on the regular geotiff and uh, cog are always compressed and optimized but regular geotiff uh, might not be always compressed or optimized uh, so that's why uh, the cog might be uh, lesser uh, 
re might reduce the size but it never guarantee which one which one has the file size greater or larger in in generally speaking if both are compressed then a uh, cog will be have little bit larger size because it has to save the loss of metadata related to like zoom levels and of course a uh, cog is developed during 2015-16 but the regular got was developed during early 1990s and talking about the uh, cog ecosystem there are larger ecosystem right now of course the one of the like backbone of our geospatial community Giral also support cog and also there are like companies like maxar planet uh, those also support the got and also we have desktop gis softwares uh, qgis of course google earth engine geo tools all like geo server all support the uh, cog so it has emerging ecosystems all right so if you want to know more about cloud optimized geotiff i think cogo.org is the best site to look uh, out so it has all the like introduction and why you might need and all the like information about the what are the library or what are the data provider uh, it supports GOT. so yeah so feel free to check out the site and also there is a like uh, providing data is cloud optimized GOT guideline of course uh, if you have the GDAL then you can simply use GDAL translate command uh, to simply convert your uh, regular TIFF to the GOTIF. I'm going to show you in a minute how to do this and also I found another interesting uh, site which is geotiff.github.io uh, here uh, it has lots of like uh, application mostly on the visualization side of geotiff and then the cloud uh, optimized geotiff exploration things feel free to check out and uh, using this actually we can load our geotiff file and then uh, we can visualize uh, quickly on the browser all right so let's try loading the got file of course if you have cog url then you can paste it here since i have the regular got file so i'm going to load it here i'm going to load this srtm file and then load it and yeah it, it, it take few seconds to load it and then actually we can zoom in and see the uh, pixel values of course uh, you might have noticed that uh, if we zoom more then uh, it first of all it try to like get our uh, get us the bigger pixel and then uh, somehow after a few seconds uh, it realized the uh, area of interest uh, i mean the area of visualization section and then change the values all right so now i think it's time to check how to create the cloud optimized got file so in order to do that so i'm going to write cmd over here and then open my command prompt and then simply copy the code uh shown in the cog website uh, official website and then paste it here and then i'm simply going to change the input and output file name so in input file name is my uh, srtm and then output is srtm cog cog and then hit enter and then depending on your file size it might run slower or faster so my initially srtm was here uh, with 17 mb now i got the srtm cog with the uh, size of 12 mb so which is here and then this was the original uh, 17 mb file so based on the compression method we applied a uh, deflect so the file size might have changed and of course we can load this uh, in qgis and then visualize the original uh, data as well as the cog data both look same and both store the same information uh, simply it has the like cloud optimized uh, things uh, so yeah you can see both are like similar and then we can even zoom in and then see both are the exact same another cool thing uh, to show you is to like uh, simply load the uh, 
cloud optimized GOT file in QGIS and then how it uh, visualize it so since I have like my planet education and research account so I can assess the planet base map freely if you don't know how to get access uh, to this account then check the video in description below but for now simply let's zoom into the some some of the area of course based on your zoom level so uh, your map will be uh, map pixel will be updated and then uh, you will see more clear snapshot of that particular image and of course uh, since it's the planet like august 2024 base map of course it's more clear uh, and then uh, when when you zoom in so this is uh, the simple like example of how like cloud optimized GOT visualize of course uh, this kind of feature uh, can be available from like Amazon S3 bucket or uh, simply you can add the raster uh, layer and then add the layer and then add raster layer here uh, you can provide the source like uh, the uh, url of that particular raster if it's cloud native geotiff then it will load within a second all right so just to show you the other thing so here i have tried the same command to convert my regular tiff file which is east s2 2023 which is the sentinel 2 file uh, to the COG using this D flat uh, compression method, but it uh, arrives with pop up with the error that uh, use big tiff equal to equal to yes, and then after that I use actually big tiff is equal to yes, and then based on that the first version I get is this 20 GB file from like a 5.4 gb file uh, when i try to convert without compression it uh, give me like 20 gb output file of cog right but if after, after that again i uh, try to get the compression as well uh, the same compression but still the file size is a little bit slightly uh, larger than the original one which is 6.22 gb uh, the original was 5.46 gb all right so that's all you need to know about cloud optimized geotiff i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and i'll see you in next